Hi, my name is Rudy Karinawan, and this is a story of my rise and fall in the wine industry. I was born on October 10th, 1976, in Jakarta, Indonesia. My forgery took place in 2002. When I moved to America, I went to the University of California, North Ridge. When I was younger, I worked in a wine shop as a receptionist. Being so focused on my career, I decided not to be in a relationship or to have any children. Going by my nickname, Dr. Conti, I was notorious for wine fraud and mail fraud. I started out buying expensive wines at auctions. With the wine from these auctions, I would go to wine tastings with connoisseurs. After the wine tastings, I would request for the empty bottles to be shipped back to my home. There, I would mix several wines together to recreate a previous wine. After mixing the wine, I would photocopy, print, and age labels to create the perfect label replicas. Many of the most prestigious auctioneers, connoisseurs, and wine tasters believed that my forgeries were real for up to 10 years before suspicion arose. I was never clear about my childhood, background, or personality, so I was always a mystery to people. The first suspicion began at a wine opening where a group of toasters discovered that 6 out of 11 of my wines were fake. In April 2008, I made a mistake. A renowned connoisseur saw that I put the wrong date on a bottle of wine. It had said it was made in the 50s when the company did not start producing until 1982. In a later auction, I attempted to sell a hundred bottles of wine, but only one was authentic. When I started to look even more suspicious, I went by a fake name to continue to sell the bottles. When the FBI decided to investigate, they found that I had been buying antique paper and wax. When they searched my home, they found my entire kitchen and house was filled with bottles and labels. On March 8, 2012, I was arrested by the FBI. I went to jail for 10 years at the Reeves County Detention Complex in Texas. Where am I now, you ask? I am still currently in prison, but after my sentence, I'm going to be deported back to Indonesia. I have to pay $28.4 million in restitution to the victims of my fraud.